Wednesday. Okay. 안녕하세요. 제 이름은 크샤이입니다. Welcome back to my channel. You're probably wondering why weren't you? Why didn't you upload yesterday? Um. Well, because I uh, I was at a friend's house, so I didn't didn't want to record at someone else's house. Plus, I didn't have my computer. I only had my phone. I mean, I guess that's technically not an excuse. So we're doing a product review today. Hold on, I have to find the email. <sighs> yes, we have to find the email. Um, so, I am going to... I'm going to show you a product and these I'm re I'm reviewing makeup brushes and holy shiz Jesus Christ these makeup brushes right here do you do you see them they look really nice they are from a company, a company contacted me a couple weeks ago, um, called Slay Bella. Um, they ship them to me. They get they give them to me for free. All I had to do was pay shipping. These brushes cost originally twenty five dollars, as in like twenty five actual doll hairs, and I'm shook. No joke, mermaid thing. Yes, that is that is this actual brush set. Costs twenty five freaking doll hairs. I'm shook. Um, they feel really cheap. They're plastic. The handle is plastic. This is like I think aluminum. You know, very cheap metal. Um, the brush is very very floppy. And right now I'm gonna I'm gonna do an eye look with them. I'm not wearing any makeup except for on my eyes. So basically I have to take off all my eye makeup. So I'll take off all my eye makeup and we're gonna get into this review. Okay. So to get into this review, so we're gonna start off with oof getting closer and using my elf time favorite eye primer by elf in the shade i think it's called nude i'm not sure but i do remember i think it was either i think it was two or three dollars but yeah i'm gonna start off you know like i do every eye tutorial or like, I haven't actually done a makeup tutorial in a long time. So this is an update on kind of, this is also kind of an update on how I do my maquillage now. So we're going to use this palette called Exposed by Color Workshop. And we're going to take this domed packer brush, kind of. And we're going to, we're going to do like... We're gonna dip into like this shade right here, this kind of dark shade. Yeah, we're gonna dip into that. Um We're gonna we're gonna see how these perform and might not be the best of lighting, and I still might actually have some residual makeup on my eye, but it's it's fine. Um so far these brushes are really soft. Um I I, I ever so slightly don't like how lightly they apply. I don't know, it's probably a preference, but I I personally like my makeup to go on just uh just a little more um dense than what it's giving me. It's giving me very very soft um very softness <sighs> right now 
at the moment, and you're probably wondering, why did you go for the darkest shade that you possibly could in the beginning? And it's all in the process, I promise. I don't actually have anything to wipe, like, wash it off with or rub it on, except for, like, my pants, but we're just gonna pretend. Um, and now out of sake of trying to use all of the brushes in the, in the collection, we're going to use this flat kind of tapery brush. Or is, honestly, angled brush. And we're just gonna keep this look as simple as possible. And we're gonna pack this copper shade right here into the inner corner and that's how we're gonna do things right now my camera keeps timing out by the way if you guys ever wonder what camera i'm using i'm using an lg stylo 2 front forward facing camera that selfie cam basically on an lg stylo 2 I have an LG Stylo 4 as an actual phone that I use on a daily. Um, we're going to dip into this brown shade right here, but we're going to use like the flat tapered brush, I guess. And we're going we're gonna to do that. We're doing that now. And we're just going to place that right in between the two shades and blend that out because that seems to be all these brushes are good for. Um, yeah, um, by the way, this is kind of also like first impressions on this palette. This palette is amazing, by the way. It's really good. It has nice pigment. Um, these brushes, uh, I have no idea if I like them. Now I'm going to use this fan brush to highlight what makeup I don't have on my face. I don't even know if that picked up. Doesn't look like it. It's too gosh darn soft to pick up makeup. And I'm like, dude, dudes, I'm like stamping it into this gold shade. And I'm expecting to see residual color. My lighting isn't very good. I'm sitting on the floor. So we're off to a fantabulous, fantabulous, fantabulous time. Um, yeah, this has, this is doing nothing. It's fine, though. It's fine. Uh, first impressions, final thoughts. Final thoughts are they put makeup on, I guess, to an extent. Are they worth the 25 freaking dollars? No, I could just get the exact same set, probably at, like, five below. Also, if you guys want to see a um, makeup haul from Five Below or from any very cheap store, I will be doing that. In fact, um, actually, let me let me finish this. Let me let me go pop on some mascara and some eyeliner, and I'll be back. Um, final thoughts are: these brushes are not worth their price. They're just too, um, they're too poorly made. They're very cheap. They're very not well constructed. But I will link the brand down in the description. I will send, I will give you a link to the exact, I will, I will give you a link to the link, uh, the brushes in the description. Yes, this, these are my final thoughts. They're cheap. If you want to buy them, go ahead. I would not buy them at full price, which is twenty-five doll hairs. Just saying. You can do what you may, but I would not buy these for twenty-five doll hairs. Maybe five doll hairs, but not twenty-five. They applied makeup, okay. I guess. Um. This fan brush completely useless, but I will still link their store down in the description box below, as well as all the products that I use today. 
and yeah that's gonna be it don't forget to like subscribe and comment for more videos there will be a posting on Friday so look out for that and I will catch y'all in the next one bye